when the South Tower collapsed, my immediate reaction and his was to embrace each other. I didn't know him. He didn't know me. Um, but in that moment, we were two human beings watching something so horrific that our only response was that basic human response of needing to be with someone. Person after person was coming towards us and we knew we were getting closer as we started to see these people who looked like, like ghosts. They were completely covered in the white ash from the collapse of the building. In creating a museum about an atrocity, how do you make the decision of what is appropriate to show? When does the presentation of this audio tape or this particular picture violate the memory of the people we are charged to commemorate? The layout of the museum also tries very hard to be sensitive to visitors, to signal within the exhibition where there was challenging material or even more challenging material. So if and when someone does feel overwhelmed, we wanted to find a way that visitors could make their way out quickly and not have to be re-traumatized as they were exiting. And so we developed these things with the exhibition team called emotional exits, ways that people can essentially exit and go into a safe neutral zone, which is the envelope that surrounds the historic exhibition. We made the decision to segregate the history exhibit in the largest enclosed space at Bedrock. From a visitor experience logic, it meant that people could come to this place and make the choice of whether or not they were ready or they wanted to go into the history exhibit, where we have to tell the story, and the story involves difficult imagery. Choices uh, was really one of the hardest things that I've ever really been involved with in terms of designing. It is a space that is dedicated to telling the story of those people in the towers who had the impossible choice, the choiceless choice, of whether to stay in a burning building or whether to jump. We have some contextualizing information on the outside as well as warnings just about the, the level of intensity within the exhibition itself. Uh, as you make your way around, we have quotes, a number of first person quotes about people's reactions and impressions of witnessing that event. And then as you make your way, you see a series of slowly fading images. And it was just about stripping away as much design as possible and just allowing the images and quotes to communicate what happened. This is a part of the story that we ask the question, do we have to include this? And the resounding answer from family members, from first responders, from all of the constituencies was, you can't tell the story of 9-11 and not tell this story. This is a museum about all of us having experienced something, having witnessed something unprecedented that changed the way so many people think about the world. And it needed to be a place where we weren't telling you what you needed to know, we were telling you what we wanted you to be thinking about.